Local family has transformed their front yard for Halloween. This is a big hit for kids in that neighborhood. Levin is live in Milton this morning with a closer look at all of the decorations they have there, Lev. You know, this is fabulous. You know, when you roll up at somebody's house about 4 o'clock in the morning and they and in their front yard they have just a graveyard of ghouls and goblins, it's it's the most fun you could possibly have. And I'm here with Fred and his wife, Bethany. And first, Fred, how did this come about? How did you decide to do this? And why? Uh, I'm a lineman for Eversource. And um, when the kids are coming up, I got an 11-year-old and a 13-year-old girls. And um, I miss, like, five Halloweens. Uh, being out in storms and, and uh, all over the state and uh, other states also. So I made a month of it, you know, so might as well have fun if I miss it. So it's been great. Bethany, you, you know, obviously you're, you say, okay, here's the idea. I'm going to make sure to turn our front yard into a graveyard for our girls. Your thought when that was happening? Okay. <laughs> I, I don't think I really had a choice. I'm sure you had a choice as your girls are looking over there. Come over here real quick. I can only imagine how much fun was this to put all together. It's a blast. They have fun. Um, all the neighborhood kids come out and help. Mm -hmm. um, and, and we have fun with it. So it's not just one night of Halloween. It's, it's the whole month. We have Abby and Emma. Am I correct? First and foremost, what's it like to be the house on the block where everybody shows up for, for Halloween. Uh, it's really exciting because everyone uh, likes to see it and it's, yeah. And how happy have you dad for him to do this? I'm really happy and it's really fun. Yeah, it's very exciting. And, and I have to tell you, friend, while you're here, uh, we, we've been able to, this does not stop, by the way. So how does the neighbors, they decide to say, hey, do they ever say, hey, could you quiet it down over there? We're trying to get some sleep. Uh, they do. It doesn't Halloween or not Halloween. We, we, our house is our house is rocking all the time, you know. So they kind of used to it. They like to see some things moving on the front lawn, actually. But we, yeah, we're a loud house. So but. what I understand is that you told him um, come Christmas. This is not it. Oh, We're not no, doing this. No, this this ends November first. Right. So yeah, so we have our month, and then it's over, and we're on to the next holiday. Well, guys, I'll tell you what. We're here all morning as we're getting a chance to get some ghouls and goblins. Nothing has really freaked me out just yet. But then again, I frighten. I don't frighten too easily. But at, when I look at some of these things with the lies, eyes, it does freak me out. I'm gonna throw it back to you. And by the way, I keep pointing on this because I need it to stop. <laughs> oh, Levin, that is so sweet. I mean, the fact that that dad wanted to make sure his girls had a fun Halloween because he had missed some in the past, that yeah. is just so heartwarming. I think he's more than compensated. Uh, he's more than compensated. Yeah, he's although mom's got a strict timeline on that. <laughs> as, as well she should. Yeah.